Haven't you seen Taken? Why are you with someone? Don't you know that Morocco is dangerous for women? Aren't you afraid to be traveling alone? <laughs> Did you just go through a breakup? You're not going out at night, are you? Oh, you're staying in a hostel? Haven't you seen that movie? Isn't it super likely you'll get attacked? Shouldn't you try not to look so pretty? You mean you go to restaurants and eat alone? Isn't that lonely? Wouldn't you rather just settle down? What if your Airbnb hosts are murderers? Do you wear a fake wedding ring? Did you hear about that one thing that happened to that one girl in- <laughs> I guess there isn't anyone that wanted to go with you. What if you get sold into slavery? Seriously, haven't you seen Taken? Is this just because no one's asked you to marry them yet? <laughs> Seriously, all of these questions, I have gotten um, a lot of them many, many times, especially the one about Taken. Um, <laughs> it can get a little frustrating. Um, I know that people mean well and of course there is safety to be taken into account. But I think that when people hear reports in the media, you know, they're always hearing the bad things. Nobody really makes a news report about how, you know, so-and-so, Katie, let's say, goes to Morocco and has an awesome time. I have solo traveled um, through North America, uh, Europe, Northern Africa, um, Western Asia. Um, one of the places that people were concerned for me being a solo female traveler was Istanbul. Never did I feel unsafe in these places just because I was a woman. Did I take precautions? Was I using my common sense? Yes, absolutely. When I would, you know, tell people I'm traveling alone, a lot of people would ask some of the questions that I just, uh, that I just shared and, um, you know, I would rather that they ask me questions about my travel. Even though I'm not a female solo traveler anymore, I guess I'm just a female traveler slash the solo ever since I met Livio in Greece. You might have seen him in my videos. Um, but I do plan to travel solo again sometime um, just because I think that traveling solo is just awesome. It really broadens your horizons. It forces you to kind of step outside your comfort zone. If you're thinking about becoming a female solo traveler, I would really tell you um, to go and go for it and do it and don't be scared and um, don't let people discourage you. Just know that they are asking these questions and they have these concerns because um, they care about your safety and it's not coming from a bad place even if it can get a little frustrating <laughs> to always hear the same questions. And it is very important to stay safe um, when you're traveling. I feel like this is applicable to any traveler whether you're a man or a woman. Um, wherever you're traveling then you know you just you have to use common sense and yes you have to be concerned and aware of safety and your surroundings for example in my hometown of Miami I don't think that Miami is a dangerous place but do dangerous things happen in Miami do bad things happen do bad people exist in Miami yes like they do everywhere and you just need to be cautious and use your common sense the same as you would at home for example at home in Miami would I go walking in a bad neighborhood at 3 a.m. flashing my you know DSLR and iPhone 6 around everywhere no of course not that's just silly would I walk with my bag open just ready to have money fall out into thief's hands? No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at home. So why would I do it when I'm abroad or traveling in a foreign country? I know of female travel vloggers or bloggers that have hitchhiked, they've traveled to India alone, they've traveled to Iran alone. I mean, all of these things are being done all the time. If they can do it, then why can't you? There's no reason to think of yourself just because you're a woman as this helpless kind of person that's so weak and, you know, just so held back by the fact that they are a woman that they cannot go and travel the world because that's simply not true. Are some countries more dangerous than others, especially for female travelers? Do female travelers have to take more precautions than men? Um, in a lot of cases, sadly, yes, I would say that that is true. Um, however, I would not say that this is a barrier for women to go and travel alone whatsoever, not in any way. As you would instruct any traveler, um, before you go somewhere, research, research the local customs, 
um, research where is a good area to stay. So please don't let any of these negative comments or fears of people hold you back from traveling the world. Don't let that stop you, don't let that hold you back. A lot of women have done it before you and a lot of women will do it after you. One of my favorite books ever is a book called 80 Days and it is set in the 1800s about two women that solo traveled the world and this was back in the 1800s there were no airplanes there was no internet for them to book their tickets and research the places you know but this is in the 1800s and these two women went and traveled the world all around the world they circumnavigated the globe and uh, it's just a really really cool story so you know if they can do it in that time then why can't you there's really no excuse if you have any further questions um then please comment below i think that i'll make another video about tips for staying safe as a female traveler but just the most important thing as i said is to use your common sense be aware of your surroundings and do your research and you're gonna be fine hope that this is encouraging or interesting or something to you and yeah, that's my thoughts for today. If you could subscribe, that would be awesome. I have a lot of exciting travels coming up. I'm leaving Mexico soon and going to a surprise location and it will be all revealed in time. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>